Hey guys, welcome back to the Blackwell Convergence. What do you mean? In the last episode, we mean? got a little bit more information on Frank Lyons, but I guess we will need some more. Therefore, wait a second. Right? Where are? Where's wait, our? I know this. What about? Me? Ah, because with what Joey, we want to switch to Rosangela, Damn and we want to talk to Frank Lyons. Damn it, where is that woman? And let's do it like I'm this. I'm not actually holding the film script. Okay, so that doesn't work. So let's What's talk to you like that. I knew you'd come. Hmm. Confirm his identity. Are you Frank Lyons? Um. Oh, haha, ha, very funny. Let's get back on track, huh? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Hmm. Express surprise. You did? Yes, I did. Wait. No, that's not right. Oh, well, what's not right? Never mind, we can do it again. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Uh. Wait, what's going Why on? Do you keep repeating yourself. Uh, no. No, that's not right either. What are you talking about? Look, don't worry about it. We can do it again, right? Do what again? Okay, one more time. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Okay, I, uh, I actually do know what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to go with the film script, but I already forgot, so ask how he knew is actually what we're going for, right? How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Hmm... Get to the point. I just want to talk to you. Are you sure that's right? Yes, just for a few minutes. No, I don't think that's right. Let's try again, shall we? What are you talking about? <coughs> I knew you. Okay, Never wait mind. a second. Yeah. Wait a second. We're gonna have hey, a Joey, look. Do you remember course? I knew you'd come. How did you know? I uh, I know you knew perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Okay, come on. The boat's going to leave. Any? I'm not going. I said I'm not going. You're staying. Yes, I'm staying here with Tom. Okay. Let's give that a try Hi this again. time. I knew. You. Okay. Ask how he knew. How did you know I? I know you. Uh, tell him he's dead. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on, the boat's going to leave any minute. Uh. Um. Da, 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 you aren't going. I'm not going. Not going. What do you mean you're not going? Uh. Da, 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 repeat I yourself. I'm not going. You're staying. Yes, I'm staying here with Tom. Um. Tom. Tom? Tom? What's that idiot have that I don't? He's, uh... He's a good man, Zack. And he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zack. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait, let's talk about this. Just forget me. Be free. Yvonne! Wait! Yvonne! Yvonne! Yvonne? Yvonne? Alright! Finished. Finally. Hey, Monique, when's the rap party again? Monique? Where is she? Where is everybody? Hey, come on, guys. This is weird. Where did everybody go? All right, can we talk to him one more time? Frank? Oh, Rebecca, thank God. We just finished the scene, right? So where did everybody go? I'm not Rebecca, Frank. What? Of course you are. Only Rebecca could have finished the scene. Something's not right. Something is not right. I was here, filming the scene. Something happened. Here it comes. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film shoot. That's so... Cliche. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frank. I really am. So what now? Just relax and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Ow! I gotta work on my landings. It's so bright. It should hurt my eyes, but it doesn't. I don't think it's real light. I'm not sure what it is. It's beautiful. Just head towards it, Frank. 
That's all you need to do. You know, my very first act. Oops, Thing sorry. Was a ghost. I was eight years old. We put on a Halloween play in the third grade. I played Scary Ghost Number Three. Funny the things you remember. It wasn't a bad life, was it? I might not have made it big, but I made it somewhere. How many can say the same, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Agree with it. Not many. No, not many. I've had a pretty good run. If it's my time to go, then it's my time. I just wish I knew who choked me to death. Yeah. Wait, what? You weren't choked, you had a heart attack. No, I was choked. I remember it distinctly. The news reports all said it was a heart attack. No disrespect, but I think I know how I died. The large hands around my neck? You don't forget a thing like that. Okay. Why would the press lie about how you died? I don't know. You'd think that they'd love a story about a murder. Funny. It doesn't even bother me. I think I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on a second. No can do. I gotta fly. See you around. And thanks. Just a few questions. Damn it. Huh? Uh... Hey, what the... I'm warning you. You? No, it can't be. I can still help you. No, oh, you're dead, aren't you? So many dead. So many blight upon the earth. Tell me something I don't know. Did you kill Frank? I helped him. I get no thanks. You want me to thank you? How about you buzz off? I can help you. You are still in pain. So much pain. No way. Not again. This ends now. Why do you resist? Resist? I'll show you resist. I see you. I know you. You don't know Jack, lady. Get off me! Joey? Clear off, kid. Get back. It's her. After all this time. Hey. You stay away from her, you hear me? I... I'm sorry. Joey, who was that? <sighs> Trouble. That was the lady f that we well, pushed off the balcony. Well, what? Who is she? Her. In Legacy, She's right? Nobody, sweetheart. Just some spook. She attacked you, Joey. Why did she do that? I have no idea. You think I've got all the answers? Well, you're wrong. I'm just in the dark as you are. You're lying. You recognized her, and she knew you. Tell me, Joey, please. <sighs> yeah, I know her. She calls herself the Countess. Yeah, exactly! She's from an old case, back when I was with your aunt. She was alive then, and just as crazy. Tell me. Look, it's late. You want to be up all night, or you want the short version? Let's go with the long version so you guys remember, because it's been a while since we played that game. Tell me everything. We thought she was a raving loony at first. We'd see her on the street, ranting like a crazy woman. We were investigating these two ghosts. Both had been killed by an old woman. Didn't take much deduction to put two and two together. So she was killing people? Not exactly. She thought she was freeing people. You see, she was a medium. A medium? Like me? Like Auntie? Yeah, only she didn't have a spirit guide. There was this reporter, Joseph Mitchell. Somehow, they formed a bond. He didn't know it, but whoever he wrote about, she would go and kill. She was freeing their spirits, which is what you mediums do best. But they were still alive. She didn't seem to realize that. In the end, she tried to free your Aunt Lauren. So, we stopped her. You stopped her? How? We just did. So what now? Her spirit is seeking revenge? I don't think so. Why now? Why all this time? Besides, I saw her die. There was no ghost. So she's not a ghost? I don't know what she is. Let's talk about this in the morning. Right now I'm taking a hot shower and going to bed. Sure, sure. I'll hold the fort. Alright, so Rose Angela knows about her now. Uh. Okay, for some reason we're here now. Poor deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. Okay. 
a madness called the Countess. I... I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Shh, just sleep. That's it, sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. Who are you? And why is this happening? That's like super duper weird, but... Good morning. You're perky today. Sleep well? Yeah, I did. I've been thinking. Too much has happened for this to be mere coincidence. What do you mean? In the gallery, there was a painting. A painting of her. Really? I knew it looked familiar, but I didn't recognize it until now. What did it look like? Why don't we head over and you can take a look for yourself. Okay, so let's just do that, but... Hey, Joey? What is it? Let's have a chat. How'd the Countess learn to fight like that? You call that fighting? She was kicking your ass. I would have got her in the end. <laughs> okay. Uh, alright, so we do have all of That's the all other for now. clues. Sure. But we're not going to care let's about go. those. Yeah, 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 let's, let's hit the road, come on. Uh, we're not going to care about those for the time being, because it seems like we are going back there at some point. Okay, we can't go to the apartment anymore. Hmm. Uh, we want to go to the gallery, exactly. There was a painting of her, huh? It's this there. one. It's her. I knew it. Now look at that and tell me this isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just see if we don't. I'd, I'd better not touch. Definitely looks like the woman from the other night, but she looks sad. A lighthouse? I'd better not touch it. It's just a lighthouse. I wonder which one. Hmm... Anything else that could be a clue? No, it is not. Okay, let's talk to Josie Hi, straight Josie, away. Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kinda swamped. Yeah, you're always swamped for some reason, but you're just... roaming around your own gallery. Okay, uh, where's Claude? Where can I find Claude? Knowing him, he's probably preparing for tonight. Preparing? You know, glug glug. He's hitting the sauce. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. Countess painting. I'd like to know more about that painting there. Oh, the Dark Lady. It's different than his other paintings. I'm worried the investors won't like it, but Claude insists. What do you want to know? Hmm. The Dark Lady. What can lady. you tell me about the Dark Lady? Well, it's different, isn't it? Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually of a specific subject. Did Claude ever say why? No, but she's definitely striking. She strikes all right, I still got the scars. Claude gets weird when I ask who she is, or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. Uh -huh. I figure it's just one of those eccentric artist things. The Roosevelt Island Lighthouse, huh? It's been a while since I've been over there. Hmm, Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. Could the Countess and the Lighthouse be connected? Investors? You mentioned something about investors. Oh yes, the Meltzer Foundation. They paid for everything. The renovation, the lights, everything. I've got to pay them back eventually, of course, but still. Hmm, Meltzer Foundation. Josie told us about a company that invested a lot of money in her gallery. Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. Hmm, hmm. We'll see about that. First of all, we're gonna hit the lighthouse. I think. Yep, there it is. So we're gonna go there immediately, of course. Here we are. I don't see any ghosts. Do you sense anything? Nope, seems clean to me. Really? You sure? I said there's nothing here. Well, no ghosts, anyway. Hmm, it's weird, though. I read a book about this place years ago. Nobody uses this lighthouse anymore. It's just a historic monument. Mm hmm. There's nothing else that we can do about it. I read a book about this place. Nobody. Mm hmm. I read a book about nobody. Hey, Joey? This had better be important, sweetheart. God, I'm soaked. I'm tempted to just leave. 
Might as well. I don't think there's anything here. Okay. So it's a dead end? We'll come back later when the weather clears up. Mm-hmm. So what should we do now? Who the heck would invest in a gallery? Josie said it was funded by the Meltzer Foundation. Hmm. I wonder who they are. Okay. That's all. Sure. All right, so then let's leave for now. And let's go back to the gallery. Maybe she will tell us more about... Uh, the foundation, if we just ask her. Hi, Josie, can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but... Yeah, you say that all the time and then you still do talk to us. Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Oh, those guys are a godsend. Without them, I never would have been able to open this place. I presented them with my plan for the gallery, and poof, they wrote me a check. That's pretty generous. Mm -hmm. I never thought I was venture capital material, but go figure. I'll have to pay them back, of course, and give them a percentage of our income, but look around. It's my life's dream realized. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks, Jay. Sure. Alright, so I guess we will just look it up on the internet at home. Is Nishanti back already? Nishanti isn't home. Hmm, that's really weird. Okay, let's hit... Uh, the computer, but before we do that, let's have a look how you actually write Meltzer with T and Z, okay. <coughs> do we have new email? No, we don't. Meltzer Foundation. Mm, new location, Meltzer Foundation. You can find anything online these days. They are located in the financial district. Who would have thought? Uh, da -da -da, Fulton Street suit, blah blah blah. Okay, so we got that. It's a little annoying that we have to yeah. that we have to hit the apartment to do this. But I mean, it's kind of it does make sense because people didn't have uh, smartphones back then, mostly. Yes. Hi, is this the Meltzer Foundation? Yes. Oh, good. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Paul, this one's for you. Mm hmm? Oh, sure thing. Come on over and step into my office. So, I'm Paul Meltzer, and my silent partner over there is my brother, Charlie. Rosangela Blackwell. A pleasure. So, what can we do for you? I was hoping to talk to you about what you do here. Really? Well, well, well. We're moving up in the world, Charlie. Uh-huh. So, Rosangela, you with a newspaper? I'm sort of freelance. Struggling, eh? Well, that's what the Melter Foundation is all about. Isn't that right, Charlie? Uh-huh. Well, ask away. Hmm, what do you do here? I was wondering what you do here. You know, I wonder that myself. Hey, Charlie, what do we do here? We give away money, Paul. That's right. We're into private investments. We grant risk-free capital to struggling businesses. Mm-hmm. Give away money? You really just give away money? Ha! <laughs> no, not exactly. It's about giving money away wisely. You heard the man. If you want the lowdown on what we do, just ask. Hmm. Let's start with the Park Gallery. Josie Park told me that you invested in her gallery. You know Josie. How is she doing? She's fine, I guess. We're both rooting for her, right, Charlie? Sure. Hmm. Are you familiar with Monique Stallman or Cube Star Films? Why do you ask? No reason. Mm hmm. Are you familiar? Why? No. Okay. Do you know anything about Frank Lyons, the actor? Of course. Can you believe it? A heart attack at his age. He looked healthy. Of course, who knows what kind of drugs those actors take? Mm hmm. Have you ever been to a bar called the Minetta? Mm, no, sorry. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Mm, no, sorry. Okay. Tell me more about the foundation. Let's say you have a brilliant idea for a business, but you've made some mistakes in the past. You've got bad credit or were in debt for a long time. No reputable bank in the country would give you a loan. Or if they did, they'd charge you a fortune in interest. But not us. We believe in a second chance. We'll loan you the money to kickstart your business in return for a share of the profits. If your business takes off, wonderful, we both win. If not, we're the one who pays for it. 
That sounds strange, though. Well, thanks for talking to me. I might be back later. Sure thing. Here, take my card. If you have any questions, just email. Oh, so you're on B-mail, too. <laughs> Is it everybody? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we can't have a look around the office here. God, did you see that chick walk? She waddled like a duck. Huh? Our reporter friend. She's kind of your type. What do you mean? Yeesh, Charlie. Come up for air. She walked right past your desk. I didn't see any duck. Never mind. Stay in eavesdrop. Stay put, kid. I'm gonna snoop around. He's so engrossed in his book, he didn't even notice. Must be losing my touch. Hey, when are we going to get a real company email address? What's wrong with the one we've got? Oh, come on. B-mail? Who's going to take us seriously when we only got a B-mail account? It does the job. <sighs> At least we have a real internet connection. Although, I don't trust this wireless crap. Mm-hmm. Is that battery parked down there? Man, it's changed a ton since my day. Hey, Charlie, is this wild? Of course Oops. it's safe. I just read online that they can give you cancer. It won't give you cancer, Paul. Then maybe you should sit next to it. Give it a rest, Paul. Hmm. These things are way beyond me. I can't stand this B-mail account. What's the problem now? I'm getting all sorts of spam. I got three from this Tomo person. Who the heck is Tomo? Just delete them, Paul. Mm-hmm. Either Paul likes to play, or he wants people to think he does. Doesn't it bother you that anybody with B-mail software can log into our email? Only if they have your password, Paul. Just don't tell anybody, and you'll be fine. What the heck is that thing? Probably one of those computer things Red's always playing with. Hey, when are we going to get a real company email address? What's wrong with the one we... Okay. It does the... Okay... Modern art job. I don't get it. Hey, Charlie. Is this wireless... Yeah, of we have that I already. Then give it a... More. Modern art job. Don't get it? Okay. He seems pretty hard at work. I can't stand this beat. What's the problem? I'm getting... Just... Okay, that's all they are going to say? Charlie, did you turn on the AC? No, not me. Hey, my internet just went down. Stupid wireless. It should come up again in a minute. Finally, the internet's back up. Hey, Charlie, what's that B-mail password again? Don't you remember anything? It's Tennis53. Just write it down. Tennis53. No Someone might find it. Tennis53. Doesn't it bother you that anybody with B-mail thought... Only if they have your password. Just don't tell any... Okay, Tennis 53. Tennis 53. So let's go home and log in and see what's going on there. Tennis 53. Mars and Forget. Uh, what was it again? Meltzer. Meltzer Foundation. Ah, oh, wait a second. What am I doing? It's way easier, actually. Because we can have a look here. Uh, Paul at bmail.com. Okay. Paul. Paul at bmail.com. And it's tennis fifty three, tennis fifty eight. Oh no! What was it again? What was it again? Yep, he's still there. Let's talk, Joey. Can I help? Uh, chat with Joey. Did you see the view from the Meltzer's office? Yeah, pretty impressive. If you had a view like that, I might not mind hanging around while you sleep. My view's not that bad. Sweetheart, we're looking at the brickwork of the building next door. Plan your next move? Hmm, 
All right, guys. That's I'm all for now. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. I just realized we are nearing the end of the episode mark. I will have to look that up once again because I already apparently forgot it was tennis fifty three. Tennis. Well, I don't really, I don't recall. But if you want to know if I can figure it out, just by looking up what I just recorded, <laughs> you'll have to tune in next time for the Blackwell Convergence. See you then.